Hi guys, happy July. Today I want to share with you my June favorites. I can't remember if I've ever tried this in the past and then used all of it and then waited a few months and then I'm now trying it. I can't recall because I've tried a lot of um, Urban Decay setting sprays, but this one in particular, the All Nighter, is just so good. I really feel like it makes my makeup last all day and it doesn't, like the spray itself doesn't um, over like saturate or water eyes, it's not a fucking word, but you get what I'm saying, like if you use the Max Fix Plus sometimes it kind of sprays in one spot and this one I feel like it sprays evenly everywhere and it's a lot of product that comes out when you spray it. So I would really recommend using this if you're into setting sprays. I do think that maybe what happened was they used to have a different packaging and then they redesigned their packaging for their setting sprays and that's why I'm not sure if I've used it before. I know I've definitely used their D-Slick one, um, but maybe this was one of the first sprays I've ever used and then I tried a bunch of different ones. But in any case, I really love this and I love that the brand is cruelty free so I definitely think that I'll be repurchasing this in the future. One of the first few products that I got when I started to get into makeup was um, or were primers. Just really like nice primers that you could feel were good for your skin. It used to be my favorite step of the day. And then I went to see a dermatologist um, to help me clear my skin and one of the things she said was don't use a primer because it clogs pores. Um, my skin's been doing a lot better over the past few months and I just, I saw this primer in my drawer that I had used before and I just thought, you know what, maybe I won't use primers every day but I think it's okay to use it on occasion because I really do love them so much. I love how it feels on your skin and it just makes such, such a difference. So this morning I put on the Hourglass Mineral Primer Veil and it just made such a difference in my makeup. I happened to walk by a mirror and was like, oh my god, like my skin looks so glowy today. What did I do that was different? And I was like playing back what I had put on that morning in my head and I was like, you know what? It's that primer. <laughs> that primer really stepped it up for me. And though I probably wouldn't recommend using a primer every single day because of, you know, what my dermatologist had said that it can affect your skin. Um, I still think on occasion, if you want to use it maybe once a week or something, then um, the primer I would recommend is without a doubt the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. It just, it feels like you're putting on powdered sugar on your face. It just, it's the most amazing product I've, <laughs> I'm not going to say ever used because there's a lot of products I love, but it's definitely my favorite primer for sure. And another bonus about that primer is that it's good for oily skin. So if you have oily or combination skin, definitely try it too. I had never tried out ColourPop's products before and I recently made a few purchases last month and one of my favorite things from that order was the ColourPop highlighter. It's this, su <laughs> it's this super shock cheek um, in the shade Forget Me Not and it's like this shimmery highlighter but when you touch it, it almost has like a a putty consistency to it like it bounces back um, but I just dip my fan brush into it on the side like you would any other um, like powdery pressed powder highlighter and I put it on the tops of my cheeks and I just feel like it has the most shimmer I've ever seen in a highlighter since um, Becca's you know pressed powders so um, if you wanted something that's a bit cheaper but still has that same type of glow um, that really has like a really pretty kind of glow that doesn't have like chunky glitter but more like pressed mineral type highlighter but still an intense glow, then definitely try this. I definitely want to try some other shades of their highlighters now that I know that they work so well. And if you're new to ColourPop, they're a really affordable brand and they're also cruelty free. And, they're <laughs> and their products are great too, by the way. I didn't make that clear. So a couple other things I got from the order that I just loved last month was the uh, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, and this is in the shade Sunday. It's kind of a dark pink, 
um, and the applicator is like tinier than your usual one. It's doe foot, but it's pretty small. Um, but the thing about this liquid lipstick that makes it different from any of the other brands you could go and get is that it really stays put. So like you put it on and not even kidding, like 10 minutes later if you have a sip of water, it's not going to show up on the glass. Like that's huge. It's just, it doesn't transfer and I've been trying, <laughs> and I had been trying for so long to find a lip product that would do that, but still like have a pigmented color for you on your lips and I really think this is it. I definitely want like a lighter pink, like a more nude color that I could wear for every day. So I'm going to try out a couple lighter shades of the same formula. And what's worth noting is a lot of people had said that the Kylie lip kits are made by a brand that is the sister company of ColourPop, I believe. So that they're made in not the same factory, but I think maybe the same factory, but factories that share the same type of formulas. So. Um, I didn't actually notice that it was exactly the same as the Kylie lip kits because the Kylie one it's pretty good at, at not transferring and staying put but I still feel like if you were to take a sip of water you could still see a little bit of uh, the product on the glass whereas the ColourPop one you don't see anything. Another lip product from ColourPop that I love is the Blotted Lip and this is in the shade Brain Freeze. It's such a tiny little um, item. And it's perfect for putting in your, your bag and on the go. And it's this matte color that you put on as if it's chapstick, but it just applies like this powdery texture of um, lip color. And it just, it lasts for a while. You do have to reapply it. Um, I had thought that you put it on and it just stains your lips for hours. But I do think if you're gonna be having like water or coffee and definitely eating, you're definitely going to have to reapply this. Um, but I have not tried their Ultra Blotted Lip that is more similar to their liquid lipstick as far as the tube and the packaging and everything. Um, so hopefully I'll let you guys know how I like those once once the package arrives. Um, it should be later this week, I think. Um, and anyway, so this color is such a unique color too. It's like this bright like summery pink um but anyway the <laughs> the coolest thing about this product is how it feels on your lips like it's just like that hourglass primer basically it's like you're putting powdered sugar on sugared powder sugar on your lips and it's like it just applies so easily like there's nothing messy about it it's just it's such a unique product and like i said earlier it's very affordable and it's cruelty free and it's just such a cool product. Um, so if you want to try these out, I definitely recommend it. Last but not least, um, I recently tried out last month the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, people have been talking about this foundation for a long time, but I had not gotten around to trying it out. Um, I love the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And so this is pretty similar, except that this isn't <laughs> This is um, a glowy foundation. This is in the shade 202. Um, it's not the lightest shade, it's one darker. I think during the winter I'm probably a shade lighter, but since it's summer I went for a darker one. Um, but this really is so glowy. I feel like I really do have to set this foundation with powder if I use it, because I have oily combination skin. So if you have the same, you might want to make sure that you you know, put powder on, maybe a setting spray, but this just makes your skin so radiant and it's like such a fresh dewy youthful look I absolutely love wearing this um, like a Saturday morning and just having a really fresh face with this glow um, and then if you combine it with a highlighter then you're just really glowing and it's it's a good day when you do that um, so definitely try this foundation out if you have dry skin I've heard this is even better for you because it just really has that moisturizing look to it and um, it feels good on the skin. So really everyone should be trying this. Um, it's really good and I can't wait to see what um, L'Oreal comes out 
with next for foundations. Well, those have been my favorites for June. Let me know what you love this past month down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every view, every thumbs up, every comment so much. You have no idea. I hope you're having uh, an amazing day wherever you are today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.